so we are ignoring how many times a given word appeared in a given document we are just recording the presence or absence of a given word in a given document so we are not keeping track of how many times brutus appeared in the play antony and cleopatra all we care about is that this word is present in this document so we are losing this information this this count of how many times brutus appeared in this play and so on the other information that we are losing here in generating this term document incidence matrix is that we are losing the positions where a given word appeared in a given document so for example we are losing track of which position at which position brutus appeared in the play antony and cleopatra so we lose this positional information and we lose this count or this frequency information when we generate this matrix and that's okay because it turns out that we don't really need to keep track of this information in order to answer the query that we had which only asks for the presence of the words brutus and caesar in the document and the absence of the word calpurnia we don't need positional information or frequency information to answer this query later on we'll look at extensions of this method where we uh, do need that information to handle more powerful queries for now let's see how we can answer this query using the term document incidence matrix notice that we have a 0 1 bit vector for each term in the matrix so these are the terms and these are the documents so the term brutus for example can be uh, thought of as a bit vector 1 1 0 1 0 so this bit vector records in which place the word brutus appeared or did not appear the vector for caesar is 1 1 0 1 1 1 now if the query had been brutus and caesar how do we figure out which documents have both these words well we take a bitwise and of these two vectors so that would be 0 0 1 or 1 1 0 1 so the these three plays okay, this play this play and this play first second and the fourth play contain both the words brutus and caesar and the way we figure out is we can simply take the and the bitwise and of the two vectors and see which positions contain the bit 1 to answer the overall query brutus and caesar and not calpurnia we can take the complement of the calpurnia vector and and it to the result of anding brutus with caesar or you can think of taking a bitwise and of these three vectors brutus caesar and not calpur so if we do that if we take the and of 1101000 and 110111 basically these were these two vectors and if we take the complement of the calpurnia vector which will be 101111 and we and 1 0 1 1 1 and we and these three vectors or uh, we know we already know the result of anding these two vectors so let's and the result with this vector we'll get 0 0 1 0 0 1 so this is the result of anding these three vectors 1 0 0 1 0 0 so the first and the fourth play satisfy this query they contain the words brutus and caesar both of them but they don't contain the word calpurnia and if you look at this play and this play both of them contain brutus and caesar but they don't contain the word calpurnia and no other play satisfies all the three conditions so these are the two plays 
which are uh, the answers to the query. So you can see small excerpts from this play over here, Antony and Cleopatra, where the word Caesar and Brutus, uh, where, where these two words appear. Likewise, in Hamlet, you can see the word Caesar and the word Brutus in this excerpt. And of course, it's very difficult to uh, uh, prove that the word Calpurnia did not appear unless you read the whole play. So this, in brief, is how we would use the term document incidence matrix to answer the query. And we can do this, once we build this matrix, once we build the term document incidence matrix, we can use this matrix to handle as many queries as we want. So if somebody comes up with a new query, we don't need to pre-process the corpus again because once we have built this matrix, we can store it and we can just take the query and and convert it into some kind of a, a, a boolean expression on the bit vectors representing various terms and we can calculate the overall uh, answer which will be one single bit vector and see which positions have a one and those will be the documents which uh, satisfy the query.